So you know that sometimes happen that you get a photo shoot where model doesn't behave very well, or at least they are kind of unpredictable. Yeah, this is the video about, and I'll show you what I learned. Stay. Okay, I was joking. Yeah, I mean, joking not much. I mean, we are talking uh, about a photo shoot with model that don't, be, don't behave like a model, so are unpredictable. Okay, it's not the typical bad model that maybe some of you were thinking, but those were hard to please. Can we have your thinking model? Somebody's got a watch today. I feel like it's gonna be a long day. Come down. Waiting patience. Yeah. Can you Okay. Yeah. Well, actually for me it was the first time ever shooting a commercial photo shoot. Shooting actually having a commercial photo shoot with pet. First time. So it was super fun, new, kind of like let's see what I can learn. So I did some research on the internet because I was like, okay, let's come out with a to-do list or not to-do list. So at least I have a broad idea, what should I bring, not bring, what do and not do. The setup was a normal setup for e-commerce, so typical white background with the two lights specific and then the two lights for the model. Of course, you gotta pay attention, models are a little short, you know? So everything has to be set down. Don't consider like a six feet tall model. We are talking about one feet and a half. Searching online, I saw that some photographer was suggesting use a, a constant light rather than a flash strobe because otherwise they may even get a little annoyed by the, the popping flash. But in reality, I mean, for my purpose, I needed to use a flash and I used that one and it was fine. They didn't even care at all. But what I did was at least shutting off the sound of the beep of the recycling, you know, rather than having beep, beep, beep continuously because that may distract them, you know, and you want them to look at you. <laughs> What's going on? You don't want them to move around everywhere, you want them to be kind of steady. So what's the best option? Put on a table, table or on a, on a little stool, whatever, something. First of all, because it, they are more elevated to your height of the camera rather than you be literally dragging yourself on the floor. And also they, they don't move easy because they feel constrained on this little platform, you know, whether it's a table or a stool, especially the small dog. Yeah, I mean, some of them took it like uh, advantage, like, oh, that's comfortable, actually. Re remember that you want the animal looking at you or sometimes looking away, whatever. What I figured out, uh, they are attracted by the owner and the toy. If you have a toy like a squeaking toy, put it on top of the camera, of the lens, you know? So, for sure, they are looking at you in some way and if you move it away somewhere, they look away there. So if you need a side shot, go there. Bring the honor on the side with the, with the toy and you get the side shot or the back, depending. Remember, you gotta shoot maybe clothing like we were supposed to do on, on them, so you gotta take different angle. And eventually we played different look, different, some funny, funny photo, some more dynamic, some with different angle, some kind of chill actually, and yeah, but we got what we needed to do, and, and I think they were pretty fine. As always, I hope this video gave you some idea or some fun. Uh, follow me, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, and send comment or whatever you want to write down, even just hi.
I'll see you in the next. Thank you.